Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Hi guys, uh, welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Oh. Nice to see you back. Thank you. Um, it was a busy week for everybody last very, week. Very, very um, So you may have noticed that there wasn't a live last Tuesday uh, or a vlog um, because uh, there were some things that we were all involved with um, that are happening in the shop. A big run yeah. up to Blackpool. Yes, um, so exciting. It is exciting. It is very exciting. Uh, I, um, I don't get to go to Blackpool. Um, I stay in the shop and man, man the, the fort there. No, that's that's fine. I'm 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 entirely cool with that. Um, I know how busy it is, yeah. and I know that uh, you guys, when you go, um, you, you know, you're like the A team. You go in there, <laughs> you really do it, fun. and yeah. you do not stop. It's uh, fun because we every time. I mean, last year was my first year, so I'm not going to talk about it as if I'm experienced guy. But it was fun last year because we all there was a crowd around the stand the whole time. Yeah. So you're constantly saying, "Oh, do you want to see a trick? Do you want to see a trick?" Which was fun, actually. Yeah. yeah. And the year before last, um, I. I went with Dave um, and we had Leo uh, and Moz on the stand oh, yeah. and um, and Think as well because Think's DVD was released at, at that point. And uh, even though I've been to Blackpool before and I've been on the Alakazam stand and mm. I've been on the car collection stand when they were about nice. and attended as a, as a punter as well, um, I, I forgot how busy it was. Yeah, it's crazy. And, uh, it is. And, and you know what is so good about it as well is that even though you are, you know, three deep mm. you're still everybody's so lovely and polite and Definitely, you know you're yeah. talking to them they want to know how you are and what you've been yeah. up to so um it's kind of a labor of love for us it's mm. it's really quite a good experience um albeit that we, we <laughs> are tired <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say it's nice like uh when you speak to the people because obviously we don't really get to uh, like when we're doing business as such we don't really get to speak to you guys at home like sending emails you know what I mean just have to have a chat so to meet up at Blackpool is really nice and like to ask about how each other's doing and then we can put faces to names and you'll be like yeah. oh I see you by that how do you get along with it stuff like that yeah uh, and it's really nice we're all like friends yeah and uh, that's an important point that you raised there um, because we've mentioned on several occasions about the fact that we have the email service we have the new mm. chat feature yeah. uh, we have our Facebook page yeah. um, okay you know they're not man 24-7 Mm. but please if you do have any questions then you know leave leave that question on the site if we're not live uh, in the talk function Definitely. we will come back and we will answer it uh, if we're live at the time or answer it at the time uh, we will always get back to you um, our Instagram page guys Ooh. has been going through the roof alright we have now got uh, 1803 followers wow so it's going up a lot guys we do post every day uh -huh. and we put a nice little thing out um, which was if you send us a video of you doing magic, uh, we'll tag you. Like, so your name will be on the video and stuff like that. Uh, just to get your profile up, because we know how hard it is to mm -hmm. expand your profile. Uh, and the first one was someone called David, who done a lovely coin routine. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, I haven't seen it. It was Ooh. incredible. Right. Uh, so we shared it, and that's had three thousand views already, and it was posted yesterday. Wow. So we're doing it to try and help you guys out. So if you do have any performance videos that you want to share and kind of uh, grow your profile then send it to us and with your permission we'll post it and obviously you get tagged in it. Yeah and remember we're all passionate about magic. We yeah, love exactly. to see magic. You know, um, okay, we, we are a business but we do like to see magic yeah. that is sent through to us, new ideas, even if you just, you know, not necessarily something that you want to market but even yeah. if you just want to send it through and say what do you think of yeah. this, you know, we'll always be honest, um, we'll always be helpful wherever we can. Yeah. Um, and we just like seeing magic. Yeah, so, definitely. you know, um, it's a great way of getting involved, H. So. Very loved. Cool. So this week, uh, we, we've been a bit random in our approach this week. Um, and I, I say random in the sense that um, the last couple of weeks, and certainly when we had the, the vlog started to go with the two yeah. of us, we, we kind of had a theme going. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very difficult to always talk about themes. Um, you know, there are certain things that we can talk about and I'm sure yeah. that we will, moving forward, we'll talk about plots and themes that people are interested in a little bit more. Um, but we, we kind of went a bit random today, even though uh, what we're going to talk about is predominantly card magic. Yeah. Excellent, okay. So um, let's let's start with this. Let's have a look at this, this bad boy here. So, I'm not going to lie, I remember when this was filmed, it was quite a while ago. Um, and I have never, ever, ever touched it. 
in Mate, my life. I've shame always just, on you. I know. I've always just seen it. It's quite. It's a really cool packaging, actually. Very nice. Uh, and it was invented by Dad. And uh, I've just overlooked it every time. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I only learned it for this vlog. But I will be doing it all the time. And you could see how excited I was because I ran in there and see. performed it to Claire. Yeah. And uh, it's so easy. Literally, I learned it in about 10 minutes. But it's so clever. Yeah. It's quick, visual. It's crazy. And and I think, you you know, you just hit an important point there that um, it didn't take you that long to learn. Mm. Um, and yet you were performing it you know you were performing it in a decent way yeah. you know you didn't sort of bumble through it or anything mm. like that Claire was completely yeah. shocked I wish we record because we were going to try and record it but uh, I said not to because it was just my first performance of it but uh -huh. it went really smooth and her reaction was really good she was like yeah. what? exactly um, and you know this is this is a case of um, a packet trick mm. that is really easy to do but has high impact yeah. um, and you can't say that for a lot of packet tricks yeah. um, there are things like double back um, which is a great packet trick which is a high impact very easy to do uh, and a couple of others uh, Twisted Sisters for example yeah. um, but if you want something that is strong and and easy to get on with both from a method point of view and a clear yeah. effect point of view yeah I was going to say there's no ride, there's no moves in this as such like no. there's literally no slides it's also working and Another good thing is, it is easy to follow, like you said. There's no reason why, if you've done it abroad, no yeah. one would understand. It's not like you need to do a big patter. Yeah. It's easy to see what's going on. Right. It's quick. You don't have to... Uh, Phil Smith, in his Academy trailer, said uh, methods to go around houses, or yeah. patterns to go around houses. Yeah. You don't have that at all. You literally just go straight to the point, yeah. uh, and it is visual. And honestly, that will be on me all the time. I'm not even lying. Because it's really... You can see the smile on my face. It's yeah. a really good trick. So... H, are you yes. willing to share a performance with us? I am absolutely us? willing. Okay, so this is Harry performing along for the ride for me. Um, so, Andy, yeah, you are a magician, mm -hmm. and you know the first thing magicians do generally, not all the time, is throw the jokers away. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm a little bit thrifty, so I want to get the bang for my buck. We sell bicycle cards for one ninety nine. I want to use every card in there. Okay. I don't use the advertising cards yet. I'll, right. I'll come up with something. So anyway, uh, I've tried to do something with the jokers because I know they get dismissed and aren't used. Okay. So Andy, we're going to use try something with uh, with four cards, actually. We'll use four jokers for this, all right? And it's important you know that they are the same on both the front and the back. Okay. All right? Yeah. So Andy, can you just put your hands out for me? Yeah. All right? And just cover up these jokers for me so I can't get to them. Yeah. All right? The trick is I'm going to make the joker from here jump onto my card. Okay. And mine jump to yours. Okay. Ready? <laughs> okay. Did you honestly feel that? I didn't. Hmm. Because mm. they've actually switched places. Right. Just kidding. It's just a joke. Uh, just a joke. <laughs> um, all right. Well, anyway, we're going to try something else. Andy, look, you can see there's a joker there and a joker there. Yeah? Yes. But just watch closely. You should actually feel something. Okay, I heard something. You heard, yeah? Yeah. Well, my mouth, right? It's actually the exact moment that my jokers switch places, leaving them blank. Wow. Which must mean, where are they gone? Uh, Lift your hands up, you can. <laughs> Bada bing. There we go. So, Harry, that yeah. was along for the ride. Uh, yeah. I'm sure everybody will agree that, you know, it's, it's very straightforward, mm. like you said, to, uh, to get to grips mm. with, uh, both me mechanically and yeah. also... Um, from an effect point of view, uh, and you get an impossible object at the end. It, yeah, it, it is actually really funny because um, it's one of those thing, It's one of those tricks where um, it's so easy yeah. that the pattern can just change. Like my pattern was just joking, there. I mean, you can see it, but when you think of it, the effect is actually really good. Like that was really impactful when you think about it. My jokers, bear in mind, I just showed you them. Yeah. Split second later, they're now blank. You've got them there. Yeah, exactly. And also, if we, it would be very easy, I think, in this type of packet effect just to end up with blank cards. But you don't. You have the the image of the Joker vanish from between the frame. Yeah, definitely. Um, which, which lends itself, I think, to a little bit more of a magical mm. moment. Uh, it's a great trick. Um, and comes highly re recommended. You carry this in your wallet. Yeah. Uh, and I know that your dad um, is not prone to taking this yeah. out of him and performing it. Literally, I went on the shelf and I was like, is this any good? Yeah. Obviously, most of the products are good, but I haven't seen them. So and I was like, is this any good? And I was like, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, you got lots of glaring yeah. from, from all of us. Really? <laughs> good, yeah. So um, check it out. This is Along for the Ride, uh, which is in stock now. So, Harry. So. So, um, 
for the last couple of weeks, mm -hmm. uh, ever since the session actually, uh, I have been giving away signed decks of cards. Uh, last week, uh, sorry, the week before last, um, I was on here with Dave and uh, we gave away the Matt King Ooh. signed deck. Um, someone no. correctly named the question, or answered the question, I should say. Beautiful. Uh, and got the, the Matt King signed deck. Last week, I posed a question, uh, question about Max Maven. Mm. Uh, this is a set of Academy Elites signed by Max Maven. Uh, the question was, is that Max is famous for a um, a an effect with a ball in a bag where he identifies the the, the odd colored ball. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, and I wanted to know what the name of that effect is. Uh, lots of people emailed in uh, with the correct answer, which is Kurosaki or Kurosuki, oh, nice. um, depending on how you pronounce it. I pronounce it Kurosaki, I know Peter pronounces Kurosuki. Um, so perhaps Max will send us an email just telling us which is the correct yeah. pronunciation. But that's the answer anyway. Um, so thank you guys for emailing in with uh, your various answers. Uh, we did pick a winner. Uh, this week's winner is Adam Evans. So Adam, uh, I know you watch the show regularly. Um, so please email in your address. Yep. Uh, make it for the attention of sales at alakazam.co.uk and we will get this set of Academy Elites signed by Max Maven Lovely. out in the post. Too. And they are sealed. They are sealed, yes. Lovely. Yeah, they, are, they are sealed. So, as we're talking about competitions, this week's competition. Um, mm. This is a deck of cards uh, that is signed by Jason Ladanye. Uh, mm. We're going to be talking in a little while about Jason's new book, uh, Game Changer, so we'll come to that in just a second. Um, so Jason was one of the feature lecturers at the session this year. Uh, so the question is, um, Jason has many mentors in magic, um, the likes of people like Michael Vincent. Um, oh. But there is one gentleman, an American card magician, um, that lots of people uh, feel uh, is his, um, his first and greatest mentor. Um, I think that's fair to say. Um, so the question is, who, which American card magician uh, is Jason Ladanier's mentor? Mm -hmm. uh, so if you email in to sales at alakazam.co.uk, um, you can win yourself a set of these. I don't okay. even know that. You don't even know that? No. Okay. Um, that's good. Can I enter? You can enter, yes, Thanks. why not? Um, I'll see if you can come up with the answer. So send those in to sales at alakazam.co.uk and we will uh, send out a deck of the Academy Elite signed by Jason Ladanye in the post. Lovely jubbly. Um, we have announced the monthly pass. So we're in the second month now of the pass. We are, in yes. In February. Yeah, um, so we have, um, you can't quite see it uh, just out shot here at the moment, but we have Chris Rawlings coming up on. Yes, <laughs> the, uh, the Academy. Yeah, so that'll be next week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. is it next week? It is next week, Beautiful. yeah. It's coming across um, very quickly, mm. in fact. So we have uh, Chris Rawlings, uh, who is our next Academy tutor. Yeah. Uh, a little bit different to what he's done before. Mm. Uh, last time was on mentalism. Yeah. Uh, this time he's on cards. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so I'm sure there'll be a, a mental feel to it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's all on card magic. Very nice. Uh, very, very clever man. Um, yeah. So yeah, so you guys are in for a treat. And then later on in the month, we've we got have Joel Dickinson. Wow. Okay. Now I'll, I'll be the first to admit um, I don't know much about Joel. Uh, what I do know is that uh, just before Christmas, we got two of his books in, um, yeah. which were Tricking the Brain, yeah. and I can't remember the other one. Uh, but what I do remember is that they were very, very good. Uh, I know that one is certainly Tricking the Brain. Yeah, with the hands of the brain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I do know just for a quick, a quick flip through. Yeah. Um, that um, it certainly looks like some clever thinking on there. Um, I know that Jamie Dawes is a big fan, yes. and I know that uh, Dave is also a big fan, and so is Peter. So uh, I think it's going to be a case of mm -hmm. um, kind of an underground uh, magician. Uh, okay. I think it's going to be an underground uh, legend uh, nice. finally coming to the surface. So um, I, I know you guys are in for a treat. Uh, yes. So if you don't actually know the month we pass, Dave done a little trailer on it. Shall ah. we pop over to Lara? Yeah, so let's take a look at the monthly pass. Hello everyone, I'm Dave Loosley, and first off, Happy New Year. And boy, is 2019 going to be a good year. Now you guys asked for it last year, and this year we're going to deliver a monthly pass for the Anakazam Online Academy. That's right, for one price you get to watch every academy that happens in your selected month. 
Not only is this awesome, but you are gonna save big. If you buy a monthly pass, you're gonna save so much money over buying all the passes separately. And I will say I have had a look at the calendar for 2019 and it is shaping up to be a pretty impressive year. Now the great thing about the monthly pass is you do not have to commit to a whole year. You can select the month that you want, that suits you and they'll be delivered straight to your account. Now obviously if you can join us live for the event that is awesome but if you can't it doesn't matter they will be automatically saved so you can watch them or download them whenever you want. So I would highly suggest you head over to our website right now alakazam.co.uk and check out the prices for the Alakazam Academy monthly pass. You're gonna love it. Guys let's have an amazing 2019. So that was our very own Dave talking about the monthly yep. pass. They really are great value. Yeah. Um, we did this uh, recently with the January monthly pass, which had um, John Carey and Daniel Chard. Yep. Uh, lots of people snapping that up. It really does make sense. Uh, yeah. Two courses for a wicked price. So um, check it out uh, because we've got some. We've got two great mm. lecturers coming up uh, over the next month. So also sorry. Mm. The forum as well is, is uh, growing. We've got 170 users now. Mm -hmm. um, and today was the first time we announced the winner because at one, the first day of every month, uh, someone who's been active, friendly, obviously, uh, and yeah, just generally active on the forum, uh, wins £25 worth of law. <gasps> Ooh. So all you've got to do is register. It's obviously free. Um, and it's actually a nice place. I go on there every day and there's always new posts. People are posting every day. Uh, about There's so many different topics. There's one right now on the Heirloom White Chapel. All right. Mm. Forget about Forget I just said that. <laughs> um, so there's one on that. There's one on the gallery, uh, academies, beginners magic. There's yeah. actually so, anything you can think of. There's a forum for that. And everyone is really nice. So... Just be active on there and you're in with a chance of winning £25 of loyalty points. Cool. Uh, whilst we're speaking of uh, being active, uh, one of the things that we always encourage uh, at Alakazam is for people to leave reviews. Uh, mm. We quite often get reviews about the uh, vlogs that we do yep. uh, and the lives. It would be great to see a couple of reviews coming through about some of the new products that mm. have come out. Um, they are there. Um, it's just that it would be nice to hear some more, yeah. more thoughts. Um, we don't judge, you know, we just yeah. send it through. An honest review. Uh, yeah, and, and make sure, just make sure it's honest. Yeah, I yeah. think that's, that's the thing. So, um, yeah, please, if you feel like you want to put an honest review up, yeah. then uh, just have a look at the product underneath it, allow you to leave a review um, because we're always interested to know what you guys think. Yeah, the amount of times that people ring up and go, oh, I absolutely love the gallery. Yeah. It's like, leave a review then, mate. Yeah. You know I mean, if you love it, then tell us you love it, because otherwise we, we're not going to know. Yeah. If you like a if you like a product, we can do more of that kind. Mm -hmm. If if a part of a product you're not so not a big fan of, then let us know, because then we can change that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, we can't change for every single person, but yeah. we need the advice, otherwise we're not going to go anywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we need you guys to leave the reviews. Um, we sometimes have it that um, they get emailed through, mm -hmm. which is great, and we love reading them. Uh, but we can't take that and put that as a review. Yeah. It, you need to just type it in, click mm -hmm. submit, and it will put it up um, straight away for you. Lovely. So um, I, too... Um, I know that you had a look at Along for the Ride. Mm -hmm. uh, I decided to have a look at an effect um, that I hadn't performed for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to have a look at this. Um, let's see if we can reinvigorate it. Let um, the customers know a little bit more about it. Uh, so I don't have one here, but I took out uh, my set of Strangers Gallery by oh, John yeah. Bannon. Um, and I forgot how great an effect it was. Yeah. Um, what I decided to do though, is I decided to uh, perform it for your mum and Claire mm -hmm. in the shop. Nice. Uh, so you'll see a performance that, of that in just a second. But one of the things that I wanted to say about it is, here's an effect, we, we've all experienced at some point probably uh, John Bannon thinking. Uh, Twisted Sisters is a popular effect mm, that yeah. um, he released many years ago. Um, his books, when they were first published, uh, got his name out there. Now he is starting to do DVDs with people like Big Blind Media yep. uh, on self uh, self working semi automatic uh, tricks. So Bannon has not faded off of the horizon at all. He's mm. still remained constant and current uh, because he's always releasing 
uh, new but slightly different material to what yeah. he, he originally did when he first came on the scene. Uh, Strangers Gallery was an effect um, that when it first appeared um, and was first released, everybody was going crazy for. Um, mm. But I think it kind of faded out because as is always the case, new things kind yeah. of took its place. It is an amazing effect. Uh, and going back to what we were saying about Along for the Ride, it's an amazing effect that requires very, very little work. Nice. Um, so it allows you to play around with the presentation. Yep. Very easy to do, very direct effect, uh, and um, and something that I know that people are going to love performing uh, but because of that. So I think, uh, rather than me talking more about what the effect is uh, and kind of giving the game away, uh, why don't we watch a trailer of performance yep. uh, that I shot earlier on uh, of John Bannon's Strangers Gallery. Claire, yes. uh, you're going to help me out with a trick. Okay. All right. Uh, to do that, what I need you to do is give these a quick mix up. I don't care how you do it, just go for it. Oh, they look really old. They do look old. This is an antique deck of cards. Oh, okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe interject with things like that. Sorry. All right. Maybe he's in control. Me, I'm in control. <laughs> all right. Uh, in fact, I say that I'm in control. You can be in control of oh, this. Good. All right. Yeah. So look, here's a deck of cards. Yeah. Uh, what I want you to do is just pick them up. Them up, all of yep. them, right? and I want you to start dealing them down onto the table one at a time. On uh, top of each face other? down, though. Yeah, just that's it, and uh, speed up the dealing a little bit. Oh, okay. Very good, and then just take a clump of them and stick them on top. That's it, and then uh, yeah, and put the rest on top. Uh, very good. Pick them all up. Yeah. Okay, and I want you to cut off a packet and place them just here. And now the packet in your hand, I just want you to take it, have a look at the bottom, uh, have a look at the bottom card. Yeah. Yeah. And then give it a cut. Give it a cut. Mhm. Mm and then chuck it somewhere in the middle of there. Or both of them? Yeah, just everything in there. So that is definitely in there somewhere. Yes. And I will give them a, a shuffle. Now, you've got to admit, that was out of my control, right? Yeah. Um, but that, that's fine. I'm going to find your card. Here we go. Uh, we're just going to go through like this. And there is one card that immediately jumps out uh, at me. Well, not so immediately. <laughs> oh, there we go. OK, that's that's the card. Now, be truthful. Was your card a black card? Yes. Was it a spade? Yes. Excellent. Uh, was it the four of spades? Yes. You pro uh, I can see by you, you, you don't believe that I just read your mind though, did you? No. No, I'll let you into a little secret. Um, I actually had these. Have you ever seen one of this? This is a little tool. No. Yeah, because actually if you look here, you should be able to see the, see the can you see the mark? No. It, yeah, it's not always apparent, so I'll tell you what, um, I, I'll let you into another little secret. Apart from the fact that the cards are marked, I actually have more than one four of spades in it. Okay. I can prove it, but uh, we'll use this card. There's a four of spades. Uh, there's a four of spades, um, there's a, yeah, there we go. These are actually the four of spades, all of these. Okay. Yeah, look, I, I'll show you what I mean. You probably still can't see the marking, but this, see, that's the four of spades. Right. Yeah. Uh, this one here, this happens to be the four of spades as well. Okay. Uh, this one over here, this happens to be the four of spades. In fact, this one here happens to be the four of spades. You can see that these are the four, four of spades because I, I cheat, right? Uh, you're probably wondering where the markings are. I don't know if you can see it. Look, this one here. If you just, if you just, if you just rub it, what you can actually do is you can take the colour off of that one. Oh, very can good. You, can you see the colour off of that one? Yeah. This one's really cool. cool. If you just rub that on it, because this is a dark surface. Look, if you just do that, then what you can actually do is you can pick up the colour. This one here. This one's a bit different. You have to shine the light on this one. If you do that, you can actually catch some of it. So now we have three cards, uh, or actually four cards, that are really easy to find because they have different coloured backs. Yeah. Apart from this one, I mean, that's blue like that deck, but obviously I have to mark those as well. And the easiest way to do that is to use subtle markings. I don't know if you can see this one <laughs> or even this one, you know, um, and you know, maybe you'd be able to pop. Spot that's them. very yeah. good. Okay. Like um, so if you want to know how to cheat a card, all you've got to do is just get yourself a nice subtle mark deck and you two can do this. Yeah. Very good. That's very good. <laughs> That was Strangers Gallery H. Very, uh, very I hope nice. everybody uh, enjoys that. Um, and check it out because it, honestly, it's a really, really good effect. Beautiful. Whilst we're talking about card magic, yep. uh, because that is today's theme, uh, just one quick mention before I go on to, to the last item. Uh, and that is this wonderful book here. Uh, this is Jennings 67. Um, recently, I, I picked this off of my shelf to have a look at uh, something in here. You can tell how, how long I've had it. It's started to fade. Um, I picked up the book to just check something out that someone had mentioned to me because I, I thought I'd inadvertently invented something or mm. that I'd invented something, but it turns out I've invented a variation of something that's in here. Oh, okay. um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Yeah, that's fine. Um, 
uh, until I'm ready to try and do it publicly. Um, but uh, this is a great book. It, um, it was originally intended to be one of a trilogy. Uh, the other two books have not seen the light of day as yet. Um, but despite that, uh, there is there is tons of good magic in here. Uh, I don't need to tell you guys um, about Larry Jennings. Um, probably one of the best card magicians um, that has ever been. Um, and certainly uh, one of the best um, card magicians and, and close-up magicians that publish their work as well. Um, so this is just a little tidbit that I thought I'd nice. sneak in here um, just for people to be aware of because there are not many copies of this left at Murphy's. Um, we can still get hold of, I would say, probably half a dozen of them. Um, but uh, seriously, do yourself a favour. This has got some dynamite stuff on it. The section on the Invisible Palm Aces alone is worth the price of this book. Um, and that's without like some of the slights and other routines that are described. So nice. that's just a little insert there. Uh, check out Jennings 67. Or if you can't get hold of Jennings 67, check out any other Larry Jennings stuff. All right, I know that I've given you a trick about Larry Jennings to play around with currently, uh, which we might look at uh, on a future mm. vlog. Yeah. Um, but... And I'm sure you'll agree that just shows the genius yeah, thinking. Yeah. Cool. Um, so check it out, Jenny67. That leads me on to uh, the last thing that I wanted to talk about. Yep. This thing here. Ooh. So uh, Jason Ladanier's name has already come up. Yep. Um, so uh, when was it? I think it was about two years ago now. Uh, on my Facebook page, there appeared a picture. Mm. Uh, I was looking for it. And there appeared a picture of Jason's first book, Confident Deceptions. Mm. And when I looked at it, I thought... Wow, what's that? Um, and it had been posted um, by um, by Vanishing Inc, by Andy Gladwin. And I was like, wow, where, what's that? And as I went back, it had gone. I was like, wow, that looks really good. Because as you all know, uh, I am a book nut. So as soon as I see something like that, I'm like, what is it? That looks really, really, yeah, I get yeah. like a fix. Um, and I'm like, oh, I've got to, got to see it. Um, and then uh, one day Andy uh, called the shop and I was speaking to him and I said, oh, there's a book that something appeared on your Facebook feed. And he said, ah, oh, this is a book uh, by a guy called Jason Ledanier. Have you ever heard of him? And I went, no. Nope. And he said, ah, oh, um, he, um, he, do you like Darwin Autos material? And I said, yeah. He said, well, you're like this then. Mm. I was like, wow. Um, so he said, oh, it's due out for release in a couple of weeks time. And as soon as it was there, I snapped it up. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful book. It's got some amazing magic in it, amazing card magic in it. Um, comes with a DVD as well, which is just a performance DVD. However, he did eventually release the DVDs as a four disc set um, of the nice. material that's in the book. Um, it, it is uh, everything I love about card magic. It is sophisticated. Uh, the magic is strong. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say it's easy to do. It kind of ra runs the gauntlet of different stuff. I think that's good though, to test yourself. Yeah, exactly. I think, um, I think there's something certainly in the book for everyone. Yeah. Um, and, but, you know, this, this is the thing that I've often alluded to before. Good magic doesn't necessarily mean mean easy magic, easy method magic. Yep. You know, uh, good effect can be produced by, you know, difficult sleight mm. of hand or self-working. Definitely, yeah. Um, and Confident Deceptions runs the whole range. You nice. know, there's there's something for everyone in there. Presentations are amazing. Um, and it, yeah, like I said, everything about it, I, I love. Um, and Jason Ladanye, um is, is a good looking bloke. Um, so when he's sitting there um, shuffling cards and dealing himself four aces, you can't help but just admire the man. You know, you, you, you would just like look at him crush. and think, I don't, like, yeah, a little man, <laughs> man crush. Little but you, you don't yeah, because no, that is that is his um, that is his persona. So this year, sorry, last year, mm. Game Changer was released, um, and I immediately snapped it up, um, <laughs> and I had a flip through it, and uh, for one reason or another, I didn't have a chance, and still haven't really had a chance to have a look at all of the material. However, um, I saw uh, Jason at the session. Um, and I was talking to him just before his lecture. Uh, I got him to sign both books, and uh, he asked me, "Have you have you read Game Changer yet?" And I said, "I'll be honest, I, I really want to, but I'm still in the middle of the Johnny Thompson book and quite a few others. Um, I, I've dipped into it. Um, what can you recommend?" And he said, "Well, the lecture's going to be on in a couple of minutes. Uh, you'll see some items from the book." And I was like, "Right, okay." Um, 
and I sat transfixed for well over an hour, uh, just like like this. Uh, I wasn't the only one. <laughs> I think everybody in there was like, because he lived up to <coughs> everything. I mean, it's hard. you watch people on a DVD and you kind of think, well, you know, they could have shot that a few times. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, as much as his persona is what it is, you know, he could have done it several times until it was like yeah, spot on. Uh, this was live. You know, and every every little mannerism, every little move of the deck, every little uh, look, uh, word was meticulous um, and so well thought out. And, and the effects were just out, outstanding mm -hmm. and, and strong. Um, and uh, again, you know, well within the range of people that want to put in the effort, yeah. certainly. Oh, yeah, nice. and nothing superhuman. Um, interestingly enough, when I... I beforehand um me and sarah um from the academy we were sitting there um, and we were talking about scripting magic mm -hmm. because i've mentioned before i'm not a big one for scripting and sarah yeah. you know uh kind of is looking towards scripting um and i would have thought that this man would script his magic um and yet he alluded to the fact that he doesn't script as much as i would have led to believe he would mm -hmm. um and for various reasons which you'll find out if you ever read the book or watch the dvds or read confident deceptions so that said after i watched the lecture i immediately as soon as i got back to my room that evening uh before i turned in for the night i'm like flicking through and i'm looking at the effects that he'd done right when i got home it's one of the books that I immediately moved from my magic room to my bedroom, right next to my my, yeah. to my bed. So it became, or it has become my bedtime reading. So rather than it just being like pushed to the back because I'm going through others, now yeah. it's on top of the pile <laughs> with the others so I can dip in and out of it. Nice. Um, things that I would recommend wholeheartedly from, from the word go, and I, I've made a note of the ones uh, from the lecture that I'm immediately going to because they were just so good. Uh, catch me if you can. Uh, which I actually performed to you the other the other day. Nice, um, yeah. Which is such an interactive yeah. trick. That's very clever, actually. Though, yeah, and it's one of those tricks that very easy to do, um, but high impact, lots of entertainment mm. value. Um, Nick of Time, um, which is a uh, which is a surprise ace cutting routine. Um, very very good. Uh, the Daniel's Ultimate Triumph nice. um, is well. Um, I think it was one of those things that in the lecture when we were watching it, you could hear the room as a collective just take a sharp intake of breath <laughs> because it was like, he ain't going to do what he's going to do there. And yeah, he, he did. So um, and uh, if you want to, uh, I mean, we've seen so many different versions of Triumph. If you want a version of Triumph, though, that people are just going to go away going, I just give up, <laughs> um, then then that is it, all right? Um, and the last one is something called a numbers game, um, which is um, the Daniels version of uh, any card at any number. Nice. Um, it's not an easy routine, um, but it's not really, really difficult mm. as well. Um, what it is, is it will change people's perception of the card at any number plot. Uh, we've talked about this before. Yep. It is one of those things that you know, why should people care about whether mm. the card that they thought yeah. was at that number? Who cares, right? It just becomes a coincidence effect. He makes you care, right? Oh. He makes you care uh, because this is the thing, you know, a lot of um, the Daniel stuff is gambling orientated. Uh, even a lot of the magic stuff is sort of geared towards like what you could do if you could cheat at cards. Um, and the, the card at any number plot here is... Um, done in a way that it does make you care and it makes you care because we all care about winning a, a game mm, a, yeah. a game or we all care about winning the lottery or we all care about making money mm. well there's no greater way of making money than being able to control cards and knowing where cards are in the deck yeah so you know if you just think about that as applied to a card in a number plot then you're heading along the, the ways of, of this um this is aptly named game changer it's aptly named Game Changer because it, it seriously, you know, it'll make you, it'll make you think about the magic that you're doing um, and the way that you approach it as well. Um, Lovely. And yeah, just a, a whole lot of goodness in the book. So comes highly recommended from, from me. Um, and uh, I'm sure at some point um, you might start seeing 
um, some of the material out of it as well. Maybe, Lovely. Maybe. So, Harry. Yes. That is Game Changer. Very nice. Um, so, check it out. So, guys, uh, that is it for this week's Alakazam video blog. Yep. Um, uh, do you have anything to add? Um, watch out on the site because we might have a new thing called uh, Two Decks, One Cup. Oh, that sounds interesting. Mm. Taking mm. products to the street. Oh, wow. Not saying anymore. Oh, right. Okay. So food for thought there. A little bit of a, a teaser there from, from Hodge. Um, we do have uh, Blackpool coming up very soon. I think it's two weeks Two weeks today, possibly. Mm. Yeah, probably, uh, yeah. You guys will be there. Um, so uh, if you're at Blackpool, come over, say hi, yeah. come and see the new products. Uh, more information will be coming out on uh, those as the weeks go on. Uh, lots of exciting stuff coming yeah. out. Ask to see you along for the ride because I'm 100%. I'm going <laughs> to take a little backpack just of them and just walk around like I'm along for the ride. I might even bring a fold up bike so I'm like the Joker. Oh. The wig. Do they wear crown? Yeah, the crown. Yeah. That that is true dedication to a card yeah. trick. So I, I'm not even lying. That actually brings a smile to my face. It's really, <laughs> really good. Well, well, that's good. And obviously, remember um, that even though the guys will be in Blackpool, I will be in the shop as well. So yeah. uh, the shop will still be open. Mm -hmm. uh, still be manning the phones. Still taking orders. Um, and uh, yeah, um, offering all of the great services that we normally do. Yes. So uh, I think that's it from me. Check out the <coughs> stuff from today's vlog. Um, and. Uh, we will catch you again soon on the Alakazam video blog.